All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about diagnostic confidence. All right, what do I mean by that? That means you're comfortable making a call as efficiently as possible. A lot of times when I see younger technicians, they have trouble making the call. They'll follow the trouble trees, they'll follow the tests, and they still hesitate to make a call. You can be as thorough as you wanna be, but the fact of the matter is that when it comes to the end of the day, you gotta make the call. And that call can be very difficult for a young technician. Why? Because they don't have that seat time. That's one of the biggest things with technicians coming into this business is you have to have practical experience in the field doing it over and over again to realize that my tests are good, I'm done, it needs this part. What brought this up is this guy right here. This is a PCM TCM out of an 08 Hyundai Sonata. We replaced it with a brand new ECM TCM from Hyundai. Now the complaint of the car was it runs for a second, shuts off. And confirmed it did exactly that had a bad battery and as soon as the shut off it lost communication with ECM and TCM. Two halves of this one side is the TCM the other side is the PCM and it's a combo unit so PCM turns on the relay for the TCM and the PCM was not turning on the main power relay hence why it was not communicating. So I had to make the call was it a PCM? Now I did my thorough tests, checked everything out, and I made the call. Something pulling down a network device, like a PCM, there's always that thought in the back of my head, what didn't I check? We've all been there. You know, it's gotta be the PCM, and then you make the call, and it does the same thing. So that always comes in the back of my mind. Now, in normal circumstances, I'm way more confident. Now, keep in mind, I was 99% sure. I just had that 1% of, you know, did I check this, you know, should I have checked this or should I have done this? You know, day to day, I'm in my bays, pulling in cars, I'm making the call, I'm done, I do my tests, I'm done. 99% of the time, I'm right. One, number one, I'm confident in my procedures, my tests. How do you get that confidence? There is no other way. I'm, I, I, I would love to say to you there's a magic ball. It doesn't exist. How you get that confidence in your procedures and all that is repetition. Going in, diagnosing cars correctly, shipping them out, doing it again and again and again. There's no way to speed up that process. Now, you can fix cars all day long but until you build up that confidence, you can walk up to your service rider and go, this is the problem, done. You know, if you've ever walked up to a service rider and gone, uh, it, it, it's this problem, you know, I, I need, uh, him and Han does not give the service rider confidence. When I walk up to a service rider and say, this part's bad, I need one. That confidence instills confidence in them. Until you have that confidence in yourself, you're not gonna be able to instill that confidence in the service rider. That's important in this industry because that's the guy that's gotta sell it. If, if he's not 100% sure that you're 100% sure, he's gonna have a hard time selling it to the customer because, you know, money. That's one of the things that keeps younger technicians from moving up is they have to develop that skill. There's no shortcut for it, people. You, you just gotta put in the time, you gotta put in the effort, you gotta put in doing it. So I wish there was some, some magic thing other than training. The more training you got, the more confident you are in your process, the more confident you get. Repeat, repeat, repeat. The more you do it, the more confident you get, the more you're able to walk up front and go, you know, this is the problem, get it sold. You'd be surprised how fast I can get a service rider to sell something when I walk up there and go, this is the problem, we need this. No him and haw, no, oh, well, um, uh, just sell it. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's kind of a slap in the face for young guys, but 
until you get that confidence, your service writer is going to question you. Now, obviously, document all your tests. Prove to them with documentation that that's why they need to do this is because this, 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 this all shows it's bad. We need to replace this. If, even if they're not confident in you, show them confidence in your procedures. You know, show them all the work you've done to prove that part's bad. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out more videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.